packaging is as undamaged as possible. Lovely colours. And there we go. Okay, so uh, we're uh, three weeks into um, my second attempt uh, at trying to learn how to uh, flat water paddle up. 
uh, onto the foil. Um, I got this board uh, last year, it was almost a year ago to the day, and uh, at the time I was in the UK and um, yeah, just coming out of the winter into the spring, so it was a nice way of getting back out in the water. Um, basically absolutely impossible I couldn't even get on this board uh, it's only 22 inches wide it's uh, it's a lot it's not that wide compared to me um, at the time I was about 110 kilos uh, so you put a wetsuit on and all the other bits I was probably nearly close to like a, maybe 120 kilos so almost impossible to even get on this thing um, and uh, yeah I tried for about three or four sessions and just couldn't do anything with it started to use the board for winging and uh, yeah absolute revelation fantastic bit of kit started to get me a little bit more used to it um, and now I'm back uh, now I'm out in this uh, this new country that I'm living in uh, I thought I'd get back onto it again um, I have actually Access to these amazing uh, canals uh, which are totally flat very sheltered uh, there's no current which is fantastic um, and almost unused actually so uh, pretty cool so basically I'm now back out learning how to flat water paddle up and uh, what I've been doing is just coming out every single day that I can and even if I only do 15 20 minutes um, yeah it's 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 just balance it's technique and uh, it's also a bit of building the cardio this is incredibly uh, fitness heavy you need to have some serious lungs on you so basically um, I'm just going to uh, get back out on a session and show you sort of the, uh, the drills that I do what I do each session just to build up that technique skill muscle memory and fitness um, so I'm on a gong uh, crusader um, which is um, seven foot six long 150 liters uh, it's only 22 inches wide I've got a gong cirrus foil underneath um, which is absolutely huge um, but unfortunately that is what I need so you can see there that is the gong cirrus I've got the big towel on it I've got a 72 centimeter high modulus mast and uh, I've got the titanium fuselage because it's such a huge foil um, I did have quite a nice lightweight carbon foil uh, paddle uh, but I managed to snap the shaft last week um, that's how much power you're putting through when you are doing what you're doing um, so I've had to go back to my old uh, aluminium one which is bloody awful cuts my hand up but the first thing you can see is uh, how narrow this board is I mean it's it's literally it's only a couple of inches wider than I am when I'm kneeling on it so that's the first challenge um, as in all supping it's helpful if you get a little bit of forward speed just to get that foil gripping and that'll help you um, and then it's a case of just getting yourself on your feet now last year I couldn't do this at all I could not get up onto the board and now I can do it and uh, yeah it's, it's not pretty but I'm up so what I do is I always come out and what I'm practicing is the J stroke to stay straight. I'm practicing paddle technique. I'm practicing planting the paddle nice and far forward. And I'm also practicing bringing it out just at my back foot. Yeah, so we've got ourselves up. And uh, so each session is a set of, uh, of drills, of exercises. So first one is getting on my feet which I'm uh, obviously getting better and better and better at and then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to practice my paddle strokes accuracy planting, paddling, releasing planting, paddling, releasing I'm basically trying to keep the paddle upright look through my, my hand, look through that gap in my arm in the paddle I'm trying to keep the board straight practicing that J stroke trying to get that so it's natural. Like I said, I'm not a supper, you know, I'm being honest SUP, but I've never really been particularly technical and I've never been particularly fast with it. So this is all being learning. Um, so yeah, that's good, that's getting better. Um, that's the most important thing. What I also then do is I then get a little bit of forward speed and then I practice basically pumping. And what I'm doing is I'm just seeing if I can keep forward speed, keep that momentum. And it's, what it's doing is it's making my legs work. And you see I've just stopped there, so I'm not doing it right. So a couple more 
pumps the paddle and again what I'm trying to do is get that technique if you're getting hit by horse flies so that technique of bouncing but also trying to shove my weight forward and good leg, leg workout really good leg workout it's also balance as well because I'm I'm pushing my toes and heels and all sorts so that's another one I do the next thing I try is and now a fairly slow speed a paddle and a pump paddle and a pump paddle and a pump and what I'm trying to get used to is this high cadence paddle stroke but with Oil pump. That's good. It's actually faster than if I was just giving it uh, pure power. So I'm using all the elements there using a bit of paddle stroke, a little bit of pumping just trying to unweight the board using my body weight to try and force that board forward and then giving it that little bit more power with the paddle and actually it went a little bit lighter there so foil was probably trying to do something but there was all the elements it's quite slow speed you can feel if it's not right I'm almost I need to be right on my back foot. There you go. <sighs> 3.3 knots there. I reckon in order to get the foil working, I need four and a half. So I need to find another 1.1 knots from somewhere, which is going to be technique, fitness, practice and all sorts uh, but I've been out here for uh, nearly 50 minutes now and there's nothing left in the tank I'm struggling to get my breath back I'm also I've got nothing in my shoulders I can feel that when I really push for the uh, power through the paddle it's, uh, it's not happening but basically they're the drills and that's basically where I'm at I say three weeks ago couldn't even get on it and now with that this is what I need to be doing a lot faster the board will then start to rise less board in the water less friction each paddle stroke will get you slightly faster in which case you come up on the foil so, who needs a gymnasium, eh? Who needs a gymnasium? High intensity workout, outside, in the sunshine, learning new skills. So if you go to the gym, all you do is you just lift weights and do stuff. You don't learn anything. You just get stronger and fitter. You don't learn anything. By being out here, I'm learning balance, board, positioning, foot positioning, technique and getting blisters so, there you go flat water, paddle up progression update